So it's Daniel here from IQ Ventures, here with Gianluca Corbellini uh, from Hive Power, uh, here just to talk about the ICO and the project and some of the issues that it's uh, Yeah, so hi, and good morning, everybody. I'm, my name is Gianluca, and I will tell you about our project, Hive Power. We are developing a platform to allow the energy exchange between consumers. So uh, different users in the same district will be allowed to sell and buy energy uh, between themselves in a peer-to-peer -peer market and we are mainly developing a new tariff scheme and new market mechanism uh, to make it real and to make it convenient for, for everybody cool. so basically the idea is uh, at the moment the technology is there on the production side in order to uh, change the power being created but usually but with renewable energies that everyone wants to use that is not there so it's about having using the blockchain to incentivize people's energy use so that renewables can be used more is that right yeah so we so to solve this smart grid problem so how to integrate renewables in an efficient way in the electrical grid at the demand side so it's called the demand side management technically and we uh, designed a market scheme to to make uh, incentives for the final users to modify their own uh, consumption profiles in a way that is convenient for the grid operator. So it's something uh, uh, basically trying to provide a peak shaving or voltage stabilization. So trying to solve technical issues for the grid operator and the final users can get, can get back uh, financial incentives, so typically discounts or bonus tariffs. And as far as the team, uh, what's your sort of background? Who else is on the team? Where, how, did it, how did you all join up? Yeah, so we are uh, five co-founders. We are all uh, researchers and engineers here at SUPSI, the University of Applied Science of the Southern Switzerland. And um, we all have a common uh, industrial and academic background. We also work in uh, uh, utilities across Europe or automation companies or uh, research institutes. So we combine together um, academic and industrial background so we know how to really uh, make it real we're not just having uh, academic discussion it's really something close to the industrial partners and what's the current situation as well like where are you now in terms of product have you got things that are working already how far away from yeah so inside the previous research projects we already developed a decentralized approach for the energy management particular with the last project uh, that's called the Nemo Grid. We, uh, we've been working with uh, blockchain solution for the decentralized energy management. So we already run all the simulation part of this uh, new framework. And now we are starting after the ICO uh, pilot project, which is also um, the main uh, goal of the, the funding, the fundraising. So we will have a uh, first pilot here close to Lugano in a few weeks starting. And the second one in the French part of Switzerland after the summer. And, uh, and we will have project also thanks to this European project in uh, Germany and Sweden uh, next year. So um, it's very important for us to, to test and validate our solution in a real environment. Awesome. And I hopefully the audience will agree, but I think in the sort of crypto ICO space, having a business with a working product already is should be a really really good sign um, i hope everyone agrees with you and as far as the market and your vision i mean the energy market's huge but what, where do you see you guys where do you see yourselves in five years time uh, what do you think the potential is yeah so we want to to, to be like uh, just a software company so providing all, only the platform that will run this uh, energy communities uh, optimization. So we want to collaborate together with other uh, software uh, providers for the optimization of components with the uh, hardware device uh, manufacturer. So we're starting working also with smart meter companies. Uh, we, we don't want to be like a, a horizontal company. Well, we want to be very vertical and just develop the platform. Uh, regarding the markets, uh, energy is a huge market. We want to start from Switzerland, Germany, and then Europe. Um, of course, we have competitors, so, but I'm happy with that. So if there are many competitors, 
just mean that there's a huge market possibility. So. so there's other people that agree there's a huge problem and opportunity to be solved. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we also see um, companies like Power Ledger, We Power, Grid Plus, and so on that can uh, provide similar solution. Uh, we will be also very happy to collaborate with them. I don't think uh, uh, there is room only for one or few companies. There is room in the energy business for uh, many, many companies, at least for the next uh, five, ten years. And as far as the marketing side of things, uh, how do you go about getting new clients? What's the, the, the way to get your... So we want to, to approach the, the energy market as a business-to-business -business company, so approaching directly utilities and uh, grid operators. So we have to convince them that they think it's pretty easy. They already know that they have to change their own business model, so they can't no more just sell, sell energy to make uh, profit. So they have to sell a, a valuable service to the final users, a service that could uh, keep their own comfort, but with a reasonable price or with bonus tariffs. So with this kind of uh, smart management of energy, because still today uh, energy is, is managed like 50 years ago. So there's, there's not really something smart. So we want to provide some tool for them that could be uh, efficient for their own integration. And as far as the ICO itself, what's the timeline? How much are you guys planning to raise? Uh, we'll include links, but how can investors participate? Yeah. So the, the ICO started last week and it will last until the end of uh, June. Um, we are using the, the IDO ICO engine. It is a very powerful and safe tool for the ICOs. It's another Swiss company providing it. and. Uh, 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 and so um, we are quite in you know, not, not in a very good period for ICOs because the market is, is pretty down now. But I think it's it's really a good moment to, for uh, investing in this uh, promising ICOs, um, especially if you believe in the team and what they, they did in the past and what they can really deliver in the future. I think now the main challenge with ICOs is that. Uh, I think 90% of them are not delivering what they promised. So people are not much happy with investing in new ones. But uh, yeah, the challenge is to find the ones that could really deliver a product in a reasonable time. Yeah, um, but uh, I certainly agree with that. And I think that uh, people are wising up to the idea that not every ICO is going to go to the moon, but the technology, <laughs> everyone's pretty agreed that it's valuable. So it's just like, well, which ICOs are actually have got a really good use case and a product that's going to deliver. And it goes back to you guys having an existing. So hopefully people will see the benefit in that. Um, and you guys, are you issuing a security or utility token? No, uh, we are issuing a utility token. So it will be used in our platform only to get access and to manage the platform. So for the exchange of energy, we allow to use third party stable tokens. So typically tokens backed by fiat currencies. Um, so we also work with our legal in Switzerland to, to design this token to be um, as much safe as possible on the utility side. So, uh, we didn't want to, to provide the security. Sounds good. And almost the last question, as far as investor protection, um, it's something that's on people's minds. So. Have you guys got uh, escrow, master divisions, any limits on spending the money, or what have you guys got in place that can reassure people? No, on this side, we didn't implement any uh, protection mechanism. First, because we are raising a, um, a reasonable, I would say, a small amount of money, so it's just a maximum 12 million, but I think with this market condition, it's more reasonable to consider two, three, four millions. And so I think there's, there's no real need for this protection. Uh, also, we are a spin-off you know, of, of the university, so we can't uh, waste the, the image of the university just to, 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 to waste some money. And so we really have to make it real. We already have industrial partners, uh, very reliable and so on. So um, I think uh, possible contributors to the ICO could be already quite confident in the delivery of our solution. That makes sense.
Okay, well, that that's pretty much all the, the questions that I've got um, set down. Uh, I think, thank you for answering them all. But uh, I'd like to throw the floor open to you. If there's anything else that we haven't covered, just maybe from if someone's looking at investing, is there anything else that you would like to tell them or think would be helpful to them that we haven't covered yet? Yeah, um, I strongly recommend you if you are interested in our project to write our uh, blog post on our website. Uh, you can read more in details uh, uh, what is the real problem in the energy business because many other projects that are working on energy and blockchain are not really solving any problem. But we know what we are doing by several years and with this blog post it's pretty well explained uh, how we want to solve it. Uh, you could understand that we are already pretty close to have an uh, up and running solution. So uh, I hope you can enjoy this uh, explanatory post. Awesome. All right. Uh, well, that's all from me. Thank you for your time. Hope everyone enjoyed watching it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.